Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plaxis 3D Shallow Foundation course from uh, Theory to Practice. This is uh, lesson uh, 6. In this uh, tutorial, we are going to estimate the ultimate bearing capacity of a full scale square shallow footing using Plaxis uh, 3D. The geometry of the soil contour is uh, 20 meters by 20 meters and the height of the soil is uh, 10 meters and uh, it contains of a single layer of a soil also the footing dimensions are 3 meters by 3 meters and the load which will uh, the load which we are going to apply to the footing is 1000 kilonewton per square meter and in here we uh, can write any title for uh, this example for example we can say full scale footing on cohesive soil and as we said the geometry of the soil contours are uh, 20 meters by 20 meters so in the x minimum we give minus 10 in uh, x max we put uh, we import uh, uh, positive 10 also in y minimum minus 10 and uh, plus 10 okay so the soil contours is defined now and we are going to define or create a borehole we click anywhere in the soil geometry and we add one uh, soil layer uh, in this uh, lesson I will uh, define the layer as like that uh, the top is from uh, 10 to 0 uh, also the in this example we will not consider the water table so by the way in the uh, maybe uh, in the next example we uh, try to uh, study the effect of water table also uh, so do not worry uh, and we will uh, define the soil material as well we can uh, we should choose uh, soil and interface and click new so we uh, give a name to the soil which we are going to define we write the cohesive soil so in this example also we will use uh, the mohair column and the drain condition uh, so uh, this one should be 10 not 0 because uh, uh, in this example we uh, define the soil geometry like that uh, the bottom of the soil geometry is 0 and the top of the soil geometry is 10 so we will also uh, define the uh, the reinforced concrete foundation on the top of the soil we define by clicking in here and create a surface so uh, the footing is uh, 3 meter by 3 meter so I have to change or I have to change something in here option visualization setting we uh, have to change the spacing to 0 0.5 to make the grid fi uh, finer so I can draw like that uh, one uh, minus 1.5 one, uh, by minus 1.5 and 1.5 by minus 1.5 like that like that so uh, this is the coordinates of the footing and uh, it is uh, 3 meters by 3 meters okay so right now this is just a surface uh, first of all we have to convert this surface to a plate we uh, click on the surface and right click create a plate after that we have to uh, define a material uh, for uh, the reinforced concrete uh, footing as a previous so we select a plate and click new so in here we give a name footing 3 meter by 3 meter we uh, assign like that so we assign uh, the concrete material to the plate so uh, right now this uh, reinforced concrete 
footing. Then in the uh, similar to the previous examples, we will use uh, three construction phase. Uh, uh, the first one is already defined, and we will use the K uh, zero procedure. And uh, for the second uh, phase. This is a construction of the foundation. We write a footing, and we also use uh, plastic for uh, as a calculation type. After the footing, we apply the loading. This is a loading construction phase, and also we use a plastic uh, as a calculation type and a staged construction mode. And we will uh, also reset displacement to zero because we are not interested in the displacement before uh, applying the loading to the foundation. And we click OK. So in the footing phase, we have to activate the foundation. And in the loading phase, we have to activate the foundation and surface load as well. And we have to uh, make sure the surface load is uh, correct right now yes it is uh, minus 1000 kilonewton per square meter before we start calculation we uh, select a curve for a uh, load uh, settlement curve after the calculation so the coordinates of the center of the footing in this example is 0 by 0 by 10 We can see in here this plate, so we should uh, click on the node that uh, defined as a plate. Okay, and the point is defined, and we uh, update. Uh, so now uh, the uh, the problem uh, is a problem with their models. So I always uh, suggest them to. Uh, uh, take a look at the material properties from the beginning because most of the time uh, there are a problem in defining the material properties or maybe in geometry
in here to scale okay yes uh, this are as uh, real bulges as uh, we did uh, in the previous example we investigated the shear failure or the footing so uh, why uh, this uh, why the settlement is very big in this example because the foundation is uh, full scale and uh, uh, it, the dimension is big there's a bigger area of the foundation and it needs uh, more settlement to uh, uh, get failure in the soil uh, that's why uh, uh, mostly uh, for uh, the big scale or a full uh, scale foundation actually the settlement control the bearing capacity of the foundation and we will uh, also make a tutorial about this uh, also we can also see uh, like that maybe deformation or settlement in a displacement in z direction and we can make also like a section in here and we can see this is this uh, settlement of the uh, footing and in this uh, region the settlement is in positive because it uh, the soil goes upward in this region this is a uh, settlement or displacement vectors as well we can uh, see it as like that we can see that some uh, soils goes uh, downward and uh, near the side of the footing the soil goes upward we can also uh, check the load settlement curve of the uh, foundation new in the x direction we choose uh, the summation of m stage and in y direction we choose the deformation in uh, z direction okay and we uncheck the first and the second phase we can export uh, this data to the excel and compare with the uh, theoretical bearing capacity equation results so before i uh, export uh, this uh, curve to excel equation and uh, this is a physics bearing capacity uh, equation and right now we will uh, uh, export the data from uh, plexus to the excel and compare the results of, of the plexus with the theoretical bearing capacity equation we copy it in here change it to the general and we don't need this to be plexus 3d data this is I guess direction values and in the y direction we have a settlement okay okay so as a previous examples we can estimate the ultimate bearing capacity uh, of this curve like this we draw a line at the end of the curve okay so we can say like that maybe we can say this is the ultimate bearing capacity uh, value